What's up, my fellow unpaid interns? It's your boy, Michael. And in this video, I have a more relaxed, chill, uh, brother to brother and the two sisters that watch the video, one of them being my wife. Love you, wife. Um, today, I want to have a conversation on how to get a software engineer job, front end, back end, full stack, whatever it is, because it's really difficult right now. Now, to preface, I do work full time. I do have uh, a nine to five job as a front end developer. And I'm going to be sharing with you how I got that job and how I think you can do the same. Now, I want to preface this isn't going to be one of those videos. Step one, build a portfolio. Step two, have this resume. Step three. So that being said, let's get into it. First and foremost, I want to acknowledge it's tough right now. And I kind of want to tell you it's going to be all right. But at the same time, realize that you're going to have to work much harder than the people who were in the game who were looking for jobs the last couple of years, right? In 2020, 2021, it was stupid easy. Companies were throwing money left and right. Money was being printed left and right. Heck, I even know people with a 350 credit score who were buying Hellcats during that time. So the companies were hiring nonsensically. Now um, we're back in reality. And a lot of companies are very scared with how they hire, right? I watched Theo's video a couple months ago, and he brought up a, a very fantastic point. A lot of companies are scared to hire new people, especially juniors, because it costs a lot of money and time to make sure that junior ends up being someone of value to the organization. So right now, most companies are either going to hire people uh, that are referred or people who have such a resume, a stacked resume, stacked GitHub, like someone who's just like you see them and you're like, this is a senior senior. And they're probably going to get a junior mid salary anyway, because that's how tough it is right now. Anyway, one thing I want to say is relax. It's going to be OK. I'm going to share with you what I did and how you can sort of replicate the process. There is a, an ounce of luck to it. I, I believe in faith. But one thing I will say is I want to start off this video very different. I want to pray for you because I know you're probably going through a tough time. I know you probably are stressed, not sure what you should do. I think you made a mistake because I, I, I was there a couple months ago. So if you don't mind, close your eyes. Let me pray for you. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for my brother and sister on the other side of the screen. I pray, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, that you would give them rest, that you would give them peace, that you would show them that everything's going to be okay. Because, Father, I remember the stress I was under, trying to find a job, mass applying, all those rejections, all those unfortunateleys in the email. And I pray, O oh Lord, that you give my brother or sister on the other side of the screen strength to keep pushing, to keep fighting. And I pray, Lord, that through this process that they would seek you, Lord Jesus, that we, they would know you, that they would understand that you are the Prince of Peace, that you are the creator of the heavens and the earth, that you are God Almighty. I love you so much, Lord. I praise you. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. I hope you feel refreshed. Now to the sauce. You need a referral. It's that simple. Uh, okay, it's not that simple, but that's what it gets down to. Here's the reason why. Companies will hire people that they trust or they seem as they see as less risk. So let's say you have someone who's working at company X for like three years and the company is looking for a front end developer. And the, this person who's been working at that company for three years, who's shown uh, that he or she can be trusted, who's delivered, who's a, a good worker. If he says, oh, I have a friend, I have a cousin, I have a sister, I have a brother, whoever it is who would be right for this position, that person right off the bat becomes the most favored person to get that job. Reason being is they are playing a game of trust right now. And to be honest with you, bro or sis, it doesn't really matter. If you mass applying to all these different jobs, if I'm going to keep it a buck, it's probably a waste of time. You can still do it, but it's not going to be as productive. So the biggest thing that you need to do is how do you figure out, to how, how are you going to get a referral? Do you have friends and family? Uh, do you have a network? Do you know somebody? Now's the time to reach out to old friends, cousins, aunties, uncles. Spread the word that you need a job and you would like a referral, right? It's so important that instead of mass applying to 20 places a day, just getting rejections, I would take that same energy and start making connections, reaching out to old friends, family, colleagues, alumni, whatever it is, just get a referral. Another thing I seen, I'll post the guy's Instagram in the description. I think his name is KDB product or something like that is this dude who got a job last couple months. And what he was doing is he was cold DMing people on LinkedIn to the specific companies he wanted to work for. And he was essentially 
asking them nicely, hey, can I get a referral? Because the reason being is a lot of people in these companies actually get a referral bonus when you join a company and work for some time. So a lot of people are kind of happy to give you a referral. So maybe that's a strategy that you can employ. I didn't personally do that. I had a family friend, someone very close to me, refer me, and that's how I got my job. And I'm not ashamed to admit it. Now, here's the thing. The referral is one thing. But, bro, for real, for real, you have to be good. Like, you have to know your stuff. You have to have some projects behind you, right? You got to have, like, some, like, just... I don't want to say have a fancy portfolio site, this, that, and the third, but just know your stuff and have projects to back it up. Interesting projects, right? Like a marketplace or maybe uh, some social media thing. Like just something that shows that you either know the front end, the back end, you know how to scale, this, this, that, and the third. Like I'll be honest with you. Um, in 2023, I could not. It was really hard to find a job. So I built one. I started a Web3 startup, and it did fairly well. Um, like we're talking $2.5 million in transactions, 150,000 unique visitors. Now I ended up leaving in 2024, beginning of January, cause just wasn't rocking with the team. So I decided to leave, but it also have that dog in you in a sense where not only are you going to be making connections, trying to get referrals, not only are you going to be building projects, but like build something that you can maybe try to make money off of, right? Find a specific niche where you can sort of, uh, see if you can create a solution. Now, don't be that indie hacker that's building in public who's going to create some dev tool. Been there, done that. It's kind of, it's just not worth it, right? Try to find a niche where, like, Web3 is one of those niches where, like, if you know what's going on and if you're early to a specific type of meta or move, you can make some money. Not a big fan of the space anymore, so I don't really build in that area, uh, but that's something you can look at. And now I know this is the most unstructured video you're watching, but I really just want to keep it real with you. The only way in this market you can get a job is you got to get good and you have to find referrals. So I would focus my energy on those two things. Keep building projects, keep up in your skill, learn new things, right? Create content, whether it be on Twitter or LinkedIn. It actually helps because I did that. Uh, but referrals, man, referrals is where it's at. You want people to refer you. Right. I would track how many referrals you're getting versus how many applications you're applying to, because trust is what these companies want. They want to make sure that whoever they're uh, hiring is the least risk hire. Right. They don't want to hire someone just to fire because that costs money and costs time. Right. So understand the situation that's happening with the economy, with these companies. Now, let me give you some comforting advice. AI is not going to take your job. So keep getting better. Right. Devin or whatever that uh, BS copilot thing is, it's not going to take your job. Most of these AI tools, in fact, are just going to make you faster. Right. Most of these AI tools are just going to make you better, move faster, ship faster. Like there are certain things that I don't like. For example, comments, I'll plop some code in chat. GPT, tell me to uh, tell it to write comments. Right. Or tests or whatever. I'm telling you, this is the best time to be a programmer. It's not the most convenient. It's not like how it was in 2020 where it was just stupid. But if you love the game, and I guess that's one important thing I probably didn't mention properly, is you have to love the game. And what I mean by that is, for example, I'll be honest with you, I code for fun. Like on my free time, I code. When I'm chilling, I code. When I'm sleeping, I sometimes think about code. I love this thing. Now, I'm not saying be obsessed with it, but it does help, especially during times like this. I hope this helps. Pretty unstructured video, just trying a new format. But I just want to tell you, it's going to be okay. Find referrals, get good, start building stuff. And you already know all the other, like the resume tactics and all that stuff. I'm not going to share that here because you probably watch those videos if you watch this one. But chin up. It's going to be all right. I'm praying for you. I love you guys. Stay breezy.